Hi everybody, this is Trish from Art Journal Junkie. So on the Facebook group, I posted some pictures of the art journals that Sally, Angie and myself made at our recent play date. And I got a lot of requests from people saying, well, how did you make them? So I thought, let me show you. It's very simple. Grab some stencils. These ones are hand cut. Of course, you need the jelly plate. Well, you don't, but the way I made it was with the jelly plate. Some bottle caps that I have in my stash. And then I picked out some pigment inks, which I thought might um, add to my journal. Of course, some acrylic inks. Oh, I beg your pardon, some acrylic paints. A brayer or two maybe an acrylic block because I might just use a handmade stamp and then every girl's got to have some bling so some metallic um, gold paint the last thing of course that one needs is a white plain envelope now these are an A4 or rather they're C4 which would take an A4 size and I don't know what that is in Imperial Ladies, but suffice it to say, any, any um, short side folding envelope will do well. Because at the end of the day, you're going to have this side as your um, journal front, and the flap becomes, well, the flap. <laughs> So I've grabbed out uh, these paints and one of the things that I must remember is colour theory. I really didn't anticipate ending up with the colour journal that I ended up with, but that's okay because it's certainly very different to all the other journals that I've made for myself. You all know that I love bright colours. So here I'm plonking down just with my finger and remember jelly plate doesn't need too much ink I keep saying ink it should be paint although I know that you can use ink on a jelly plate as well and my trusty brayer which I spent about two hours cleaning because I hadn't cleaned it off properly and let me tell you I'm never doing that to myself again dishwashing liquid hot soap I ruined my nails not that I've got any left to talk about um, and I cleaned off my brayer so this time after the jelly printing I'm going to make sure I clean it properly now as I said color theory obviously I forgot because I put down a lovely pink and a yellow and of course I got an orange but that's okay that's all part of the fun so I'm just creating a layer of colors onto um, the envelope. Now look, you don't have to use jelly prints, you can collage onto it, you can paint onto it, you can colour in with gel pens or whatever you want. The idea of this journal is just to take an envelope and a repurposed one is also a good idea. I've seen some of the, the envelopes that are absolutely stunning with all the um, postmarks and whatnot on them. But anyway, I'm trying to keep the background the same and because I've got a smallish jelly plate, it's not the biggest, but it's not the smallest either, um, I'm trying to keep the colouring the same. So, but you know what they say, every jelly print is unique. And so I, I'm not quite sure that this is going to be the same colour. Anyway, I'm going to speed up the process here because you really don't need to um, watch me jelly print the envelope but um, I know some will want to. So let me speed up and you'll see how I go from, uh, I'm not sure, I think from a white blank envelope to something quite awesome.
one of the things you'll see is that I print through the stencil. So I lay down that lovely Dina Wakely blue and sky blue I think it is. I use the, um, the envelope to pull the print through the stencil and then I pull off a ghost print here and there as well. And those I'll use as collage fodder at some stage. The other thing that I do is I've taken another jelly print that I had in my stash and I've also used it to pull up ghost prints because that, those make amazing um, bits to add to your journal. Just one thing to remember when you're using a stencil that um, has words or letters or numbers is to actually put it the wrong way around because obviously when you print it upwards it's if you have it the right way around it's going to be the wrong way around when you print it but if it's the wrong way around on the plate it'll be the right way around on your on your journal so i'm just playing with colors there comes the gold oh my word i love it um printed through that i must say that um i had a lot of fun picking up the odd bits of gold here and there as well that's the beauty of jelly printing is you can just do whatever you want and no print will ever be the same as another now here's a technique my friend Angie um, taught me and I don't think I did so well because actually at the end of the day I could have just printed those um, directly onto the envelope cover. But anyway, I put it into um, onto the jelly print. Oh, I'm so sorry. I put it onto the jelly print and then carried on playing with other colours, uh, bringing out other stencils and just generally making a mess. One of the things that I must remember is that when printing with the bottle cap is to make sure that the paint is well distributed on my craft sheet. But I'm not worried because at some stage that's going to be covered up or added into the background. I'm not sure. I'm just going with the flow here. It's very intuitive. I'm putting down stuff and then I decide, but hang on a moment, I actually need some verbiage. And I'd made myself a little foam stamp some time ago that says art. It has the word art on it. And this time I wanted to add the word create. Again, remember, um, backwards is good so that you can print forwards. And all I'm doing here is using some craft foam, um, using a stencil and a ballpoint pen. And one of the things that uh, you must be careful if you do this is don't ever push right through to the other side of the foam and also use a cutting mat or some board that you don't mind destroying if you do uh, because the ballpoint pen actually is quite sharp. Mine ran out of ink there, never mind. I um, know that... Uh, I can't remember what I was going to say that I know. Anyway pulled a piece, uh, took a bit of strain trying to pull the double-sided tape off uh, but I got it and let me show you the print. A good idea when you've made your own stamp is to actually stamp it off onto a piece of mm, scrap paper, discarded print so that you can see if there are any small issues that you need to fix. So in this case I'm using my stays on ink and I've grabbed a piece of the jelly print. This way I know whether it'll stick onto the acrylic well and how it'll print onto the acrylic as well. Um, and I'm going to give it a good test out before I actually use it on the journal cover. So there are a couple of little lines that didn't push down properly with the ballpoint. That's okay. I'll just fix it up here and do another test print.
and as luck would have it, technology gave in on me. I'm not sure if it was space or um, camera battery, but at any rate, I spent some time using a black and white Posca pen, a little gel pen, and making some marks and doodling to my heart's content. You will see that I punched a hole on the flap. I also reinforced it by adding a piece of jelly print that I'd braid off on to, and glued it to the inside of the flap. Uh, that just made it a little bit sturdier. The other thing that I am doing now is finding a piece of cardstock just to add into the envelope itself. That way it also gives it a little bit more stability. So here I'm just finding the center by gently pressing down. Um, I didn't stick the cardboard or the cardstock in, by, by the way, because once I do the holes um, for the elastic, that will actually keep the cardboard in place anyway. So I've taken a piece of, um, I think it's called hat elastic, but at any rate, it's, that, it's a slightly thicker one than normal and measuring around the width of the journal and then I'm only going to make a one strand elastic here. Um, normally I would have stitched in some journal pages or media but this time around I've decided I'll just pop in the elastic as I did in my other journal because that's what you wanted to see. I've marked down one centimetre, I think that's probably about a half an inch, and quite honestly that was actually too deep um, for this particular journal. So never mind, um, you know, it's just another junk journal I guess, but I've taken a little hole puncher and I'm giving a, uh, making a little hole in the centre of the journal and I will thread my elastic through that. Please forgive me for being out of frame there, but I'm a bit short-sighted clearly and I just couldn't get to see the little holes that I'd made. And just make a reef knot, you know, left over right, right over left. Don't make it too tight because the elastic, this particular elastic is too thick anyway. Oh lord, have my fumble fingers or what. Anyway, um, don't make it too tight because uh, you don't want the actual journal to be pulling up on the edges. And then, um, I'm, in this case, I'm going to use a piece of elastic to put around to, to, to close the journal. But in my other one on Facebook, you'll see I used a piece of ribbon and a, a button. It, you can do whatever you wish. I mean, use ribbon, use lace. It's your journal. But here I'm just making a quick loop of knot and um, that will secure it on the inside of the journal and then it won't pull through and here I make the biggest mistake I take one of my jelly prints which is an A4 size and as I said to you I had made the little um, holes too close or, or rather too far away from the edge anyway this is just for uh, demonstration purposes you obviously now put in your um, pages and I'm just flattening it down and scrunching it so that you can see and finally close it up and you have I think a very nice uh, junk journal <laughs> an envelope journal so there we are friends I hope you enjoyed watching this little video and I hope it inspires you to rush off and go and make yourself a jelly printed envelope journal as well. And if you do, won't you post it on Art Journal Junkie? Come across to Art Journal Junkie on Facebook, join us. We're 14,000 and some members now, growing every single day, and everybody shares the most amazing art journaling. So 
from me i hope you've enjoyed this have a wonderful day take care and see you all soon bye for now